When it comes to 3D printers, there is plenty to choose from. With innovation comes cheaper pricing, and a once £1,000 unit can now be picked up for less than £300. This is the Artillery Hornet 3D printer with a small print bed of 220 by 220 by 250 It is a small powerhouse, and here's why. Let's go ahead and unbox this unit. There is a little assembly required, but really there isn't much. It does come in bulk pretty much with the overhead printing arch to the printing bed itself. It's just block putting together. You get this nice little pouch containing all the bits needed to operate and get this up and running. Surprisingly, an SD card adapter is provided along with the SD card adapter and micro SD card. So that's quite a good deal. A bag of extra spare parts, USB cable for connection to a PC, and a bag of bolts and alloys for assembly. So let's get this built. When I tell you it is very simple, I am not lying. The idea with this printer, which was to produce something which was pretty much ready out of the box. All that's required to do is connect the gantry to the printing bed, line everything up and use the provided screws. Screw up both sides and ensure they are tightly screwed to avoid any wobble. Then we're going to add our printing head bracket. This is held into place with about three bolts. Make sure this is tightly screwed on as well. Now let's install the wiring. This is dead simple. Plug one end into the heated nozzle and screw into place. Make sure everything's lined up and it will help with the screwing in. And then screw in the other end into the extruder. Now all that's left to do is plug everything up. Plug one end of this cable into the switch on the gantry. Plug this other cable into this section. And finally, the larger cable gets plugged into the extruder motor. And that is it. When I said it was simple, I wasn't lying. Artillery really put in the effort to ensure that the setup process would be achievable by the less tech-savvy individuals amongst us. But nevertheless, the design is nice and overall has an easy-to-use vibe surrounding it. I'll go through some features and aspects the printer has before I go into actual printing. One aspect of the printer that very much makes the prints come out exceptionally better is the aluminium base, which accompanies the sturdy gantry framework. The use of solid materials like these do make for a much stronger and sturdier stable unit overall. There really isn't any wobble when placed on a flat stable surface. Yes, it is a small printer, so you aren't going to get huge elaborate designs on it, but nevertheless, it is an economical and cost-effective printer. With that 220 by 220 millimeter base plate, it is indeed a small footprint to work with, but it does mean the prints are very much focused and highlighted on precision. Inside, we are using a stronger Titan extruder, which from my experience using it for a week, is able to stably feed its extrusion. Now, an aspect you definitely don't get with most printers is a coated temper glass printing base, which is designed to be highly efficient when it comes to the use of thermal energy. This does mean the success rate of prints sticking to the bed is much higher, and removing them from the bed is easy too. I haven't seen any lifting at all, but that may come down to the fact I leveled this religiously for a couple of days. It is a very simple unit to use with friendly usability in mind. The provided screen has simple operation using the dial button on the side. The bed leveling can be done automatic using the automatic keys on the menu. There will probably be some bed leveling required to do out of the box. Using a piece of paper like this, place it under the nozzle which should be centered to the bed using the onboard controls. Slide it under and fill for any resistance. There should be some but not enough to damage the paper. Using the dials accordingly, just bring the bed closer or further away from the nozzle. And this can be done on the screen or using the dials underneath the printing bed. You will want to do this on all four corners and I do highly recommend you actually get this done as the manufacturer is unlikely to do it precisely when testing it before sending it out to you. When it comes to printing, you can obviously use the onboard print file provided and this is a cube. And I do recommend doing that so you can ensure everything is leveled properly and is ready for a personalized file of your own. You should notice that the printer is very fast in terms of getting from point A to point B. It prints at a very nice speed and the sound 
Well, you can hear the motor going, but in terms of other printers I've used, it's one of the most quieter ones I've actually experienced. When you start to introduce your own files, like these lightsaber prints, you can see just how well the unit can be stretched in terms of printing in smaller parts and assembling them on your own for something bigger. All these parts were printed smaller and then glued together and painted. And as you can see, there was no sanding done and the levels are really not that bad. The unit prints with reasonably good print levels and I really am surprised at what you get for the price. If I was to recommend this to someone, it would certainly be beginners, maybe for the use of educational material or professionals even just looking for an affordable unit that prints at high speeds, reasonably quiet and a decent overall print. It is a unit made with friendly use in mind and it really can't deny it's been done well. Check out this product in the link in the description. Let me know what you think. Till next time.